Hey everyone, this is Bukhari. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how the power of snippets in Dreamweaver CS6. So, this is what I have just created, and this is basically the previous image slider. I did some modification. I put the uh, caption area in the bottom and put the header tag, header caption in here, and then the paragraph simple line. And with this, I have also added a link there, and the I put the arrows, position the arrows there, which is cool. It looks more neater than the previous one, right? So I'm going to show you the power of the snippets. All right, so let's get back to Dreamweaver. So this was the first image slider we created in the previous video, right? So these are the codes we had. And it took us around 47 minutes, which is a really long time for creating a slider. But if you take time to build something, you know, it, it is going to stay forever for you. So that's cool. Um, then, and this image slider, I made these two these. And I'll, I have also added the header and the brand, brand name there and the navigation beautifully placed in there. You can check it. I'm going to check it in Safari and there we go really neat and clean and the image slider looks awesome to me and I believe you will also like it and love it so so we have our bullets in here in the top then the arrows in the right side bottom right side in the uh, caption area so captions are sitting in the left side of the bottom of this side left side of the image slider images so and the arrows in the right side so it's really looking much more better than the previous one so um, the purpose of this video is to show you the power of snippets in Dreamweaver alright so okay um, for this tutorial I'm going to show you to simply copy the image slider code and make it a snippets all right so i'm just going to copy the image slider code only let's do the html part first so for the image slider this is the hero id starts from here and to here right so let's take the comment tag as well so that we know that this is basically the image slider code there okay there you go so I just have selected only the image slider codes right only the image slider code and then I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to create create new snippet click on it and then this window pops up and I'm going to give it a name like um, just first give it a number so that it stays in hierarchically um, let's, let's give it a number first so number four uh, because I have other numbers in there one two three I, I, I guess and then write image slider you can give any name you like you know image slider HTML right this is the HTML code for the image slider and you just keep it this one or that one Oops, what did my code goes okay cancel it again and then right click on it while it is selected then create a new snippet and just simply give it a name image slider HTML right so click OK then you can see that it is saved in the bottom because I did not specify it I did not want it to go to my folder so just let, keep it here for the time being okay so we have created a HTML snippet for the slider and then we're going to create the CSS for the slider so from the beginning from hero 
so from hero to here till descri um, description and okay. tag these are the css required for this beautiful image slider okay so i just selected it and right click on it then create new snippet and give it a name again so put it like number five because last time put number four so it's going to be just after this okay so that you, you, you get a firm idea and firm grip where is what right so then image slider css and there you go and then make sure it is clicked so it is there so we have now we have image slider html then the image slider css and finally we're going to get the select the jquery the engine of the image slider select this from the here to here and then click right click on it and then create new snippet and then give it a name again number six this time and then image slider js that is javascript file right so and functionality so click okay then so now we have three things for the image slider and it is really ready to roll all right so we have just created three new snippets for the image slider okay so we don't have to write the codes again all right that's the beauty of it all right so let's implement it in a new page so file new create and let's save it fast save as on the desktop and then put in any folder you fancy make sure you have the jquery files available all right so otherwise it is not going to function all right guys make sure wherever you're saving this file to you have the jquery files two jquery files in there all right i have two jquery files in my this folder all right so give it a file a name like snippet power of snippets whatever you call it just write anything something right make sure you have the jquery files in that particular folder okay save and then in the body let's add the <clears throat> html tag first so it's like that okay is is that powerful double click and then your html tags all the tags are written and added by these snippets all right you don't have to write it again <clears throat> now then the <coughs> excuse me just after the title and we're going to add the and basically we need to add the css tags so style type like so and within these we need to add these C image slider css so within this style tag we need to add this css for the image slider double click it and it's there for you all right it is just like that press press refresh press live all the images are stacking in there add it as it should be and then finally we need to add the jquery functionality so click on this snippet we just created for this js files image slider js double click and there we go now i press refresh it is going to roll so yep and there we go there we go guys and it is as simple as that to create anything where you have your snippets all right so <clears throat> it is really <clears throat> 
increase your productivity it saves a lot of time and i think and believe that this is a very cool way of getting creative productive it saves a lot of time it is something is uh, <coughs> the um, caption area is little bit off the grid but still you have a fully functional image slider in no time simply using these snippets all right so first thing what you have to do is that you have to create the codes first then you make a snippet out of it and that's it and then you use it multiple times thousand times on your need so you don't have to write it again it's there all the codes are in there so you don't have to worry about it so guys let's check is check it in safari first so um yep there you go we have fully functional image slider with a link and the header heading caption and then a paragraph of the description of the images whatever it is for your purpose all right and that's how you create stuff using snippets without writing a code but you have to write it for the first time okay and let's check it in google chrome and there you go so that's how you create stuff using the power of snippets all right so i hope you like it enjoy it enjoyed it and i hope that you learned something from it and yeah and please do subscribe to my channel for more beautiful high value contents and make comments let me know what you think about this tutorial did it help you or not or if you have recommendation please do if you like it give it, give it a thumbs up yep and please do share with others and if you don't like like it then let me know what can be done about it please that would be nice to upgrade stuff so there you go guys thank you for your time and thank you for watching i will see you in my next video take care bye